Hey guys, and welcome to this video on big O using limits. So here we want to prove that one to the power of n is big O of n squared using limits. And in the green rectangle here, we have our limit asymptotic theorem that states that we have a limit as n approaches infinity of a function that we call f of n divided by another function that we're gonna call g of n, and it equals some limit L, then we're gonna look at one of three cases. So if our limit L equals zero, then our function f of n belongs to big O of g of n. And if our limit L equals C, where C is some constant value that's greater than zero, then our function f of n belongs to theta of g of n. And our third case, if our limit L is equal to infinity, then our function f of n belongs to uh, big omega of g of n. So let's go ahead and get started by first identifying our function f of n and our function g of n. All right, so f of n is equal to 1 to the power of n, and our function g of n is equal to n to the power of 2, or n squared. Okay, so now let's use the limit asymptotic theorem. So we take the limit as n approaches infinity of f of n divided by g of n. All right, and we said our f of n is 1 to the power of n, and our g of n is n squared. So now we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 to the power of n divided by n squared. Okay, now this may look a little tricky, but it's, um, it's not too bad here. All you have to do is remember that 1 to the power of anything is still 1. So what we get is the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n squared. And this, of course, gives us our limit L, which is equal to 0. Okay? So, what we do is we look at um, our three cases, and what we see is that the first case matches what we got here. So, we can say therefore, and I'm going to use three dots here for therefore, f of n belongs to uh, big O of g of n, um, given... case 1, and this of course implies, and I'm going to use this uh, arrow here for implies, that 1 to the power of n belongs to big O of n squared, okay? And that is how oh, all of this is our answer. All right. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.